Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. You're welcome, Olo. Um, thank you, Beloso. How are things at the palace? Oh, we are doing great. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I'm still waiting for the princess. I hope all is well with her. Yeah, the princess is doing great. She will be with you shortly. Mm, thank you very much. Okay. Mm. Uh, I will see you later, no. Okay. And uh, would you get you something to drink while you wait for the princess? Thank you. You're welcome. Take this to Mama. Okay. Tell her that I'll come and see her soon. But sister, you really need to come and check on her. All the stress is just on me. And you know Nana is not around. I thought you said it's malaria and she's getting better. I know. You used to come every weekend. What stops you now? It's the princess's health condition. I am the only one doing everything for her. How is she? She, she's fine, she's getting better. Um, see, Uzi, you have to be going now, okay? I'll come and see my mama later. All right, sister. But make sure you come. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Your sister, right? Yes. Yes, my, my mother is here and I need to go see her, but they say she's getting better. Oh, it's okay, I wish her a quick recovery. Don't worry, she'll be fine. Thank you, but I really need to see her. That will not be a problem. You just need to go and tell the princess. I'm very sure she will not have a problem with that, provided you are not staying a whole day. No, I'll just go and ch check on her, then I'll come back immediately. Miss yes, Wolf. Oh, cool. Go. go on to her. Oh, no, we thank you very much for always coming around. Ah, it is nothing, my princess. Huh? Um, I can see your latest project in the community. Oh. Huh? You see, despite your challenge, You've proven to be a worthy daughter of this great kingdom. <laughs> Always looking out for the interest and development of our land. Oh no, Woo. You're making it sound like it's a big deal. Uh, but that is what it is. A very big deal indeed. It is for the development of our community. Oh, that is good of you. <laughs> Thank you very much, you know. Uh, see, may the gods of Ozalun continue to bless and protect you. You see? Hmm? You see, as long as there's peace in the land, uh, you have nothing to worry about. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you. May the gods bless you for all your efforts, everything you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since you're here, um, uh, let me call one of the maids to prepare something for you to eat. Uh, uh, they can do that later. I'm not in a hurry to go. I've come to the palace today to spend time with my princess. Oh, -ho. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy to hear that. You know. Thank you so much. Uh, may the gods bless you. I'll bless you too. <laughs> you can have your drink. It's uh, it, no, no, it's here, it's here, it's here. It will be a disaster if finally I fail to make any money from that princess. Why is everything working against me? Why? What else must I do?
Oh Beluso! Oh Beluso! This one you are sleeping by this time. It's very unusual of you. I am not sleeping. I'm just resting. Where are you coming from? I went to clean the visitor's room. Visitor's room? Mm. What for? Are we expecting any visitor? Do we have to expect a visitor before I clean the visitor's room? Oh. I've forgotten you are suffering from overactivity. I know what that means. Let me get you something to eat. Uh, on the contrary, I'm not hungry. I am not. I've been thinking of how to unmask that fraudster. Oh. Hey. I can see that you will never mind your business. Why don't you leave that guy alone? I'll never leave him alone. I can only leave him when my spirit leads me. As long as my spirit is cold towards him, I will never let him be. The princess sends for you. What? The princess sent for me and you're just telling me? What, what, what is wrong with you? Why is he always treating her as if she's a goddess? Oh, is she a goddess? And I don't know. Greetings, the jewel of Ozalona Kingdom. My princess, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Greetings, Obeluzo. I actually called you to thank you for the advice you gave the other day. I've had a lot on my mind. I would have done this earlier. Thank you. I am really honored, my princess. It is my duty to make sure things are well in this palace. Your advice actually worked. If not, I would have been scammed. I am very happy, my princess, that it did not happen. I am very, very happy. It's all right. You may leave. Thank you, my princess. You're welcome. I'm glad I met you. The princess wants to see you. Okay, I'll go see her immediately. Oh, please wait, would you? You know you're the princess's main assistant. And I know you're doing great already. She's going through a lot of stress. And I want you to do more. She needs us to pull through. You can only count on me. All right, Sash, so I will be taking my leave now. Okay. All right, take care. The princess is really lucky to have such a good man as the manager. Hmm. Would you? My princess, guess who is here to see you? Would you, you know I don't like guessing. Just um, go ahead and tell me, who is it? It's Uncle Claudio. <laughs> He's here to see you. Do I have the permission to go get him? I don't remember asking you or any other person to stop him from coming to see me. Noted. You see us very soon. My love. My princess is here. <laughs> Claudia? Yeah. Mm. Where have you been? 
I thought you wouldn't come here again. I'm here because of the love I have for you. I wouldn't want to talk about what happened the last time. Claudio, what wrong have I done? Maybe you should seek directives from your God. Then you will know what wrong or right you did. But his advice worked. If not for him, maybe we would have been scammed. My love, there are other ways we could have used in confirming the authenticity of that business, rather than listening to him. You ridiculed me. Please, I, I don't want to talk about this, okay? Very well then. Um, I see you were hot. I'm sorry. Hmm? It's fine. It's fine. So how have you been? Well, I'm fine now that I'm with you. Mm -hmm. It was just a week and it felt like a whole year. Oh well, maybe that is the way love works. You can say that again. <laughs> My love, mm -hmm. it's too hot out here. Let's go inside. Hmm? Fine. Good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. Hold on. Oh. There you go. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There you stand. My stick is somewhere. Don't worry. I'll get it. Follow my lead. <laughs> okay. Careful. Just don't lead me wrongly. <laughs> be on my way now. Uh, there's something urgent I need to attend to. But I'll be back soon. Claudio, you just got here. I know. It's urgent. But I'll be back shortly, I promise. Then, we can start making plans for your birthday. <laughs> my birthday? Yes, I didn't forget. It's next week. Oh! Mm -hmm. Wow, it, it almost skipped me. Oh, don't <laughs> worry. I will make it a memorable one for you, baby. Mm. Thank. <laughs> mm. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't mention <laughs> anything for my baby. Okay? Mm. Let me run along now, okay? okay. I'll be back before you know it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting for you. Sit pretty, my princess. Okay. All right. What are you talking about? The more you try to talk me down and claim you don't know what I'm talking about, the more I realize I'm not going to give you any breathing space. You are very wicked. And whatever you are planning against us in this palace will never work. Hmm. Obelozo. You need to stop making me your business. I am not your mate. And I'm not your class. And whatever class you think you are is a class I don't ever want to enter. Continue with your new plans. Whatever stunt you try to pull this time around, I want to tell you that I am equal to the task. 
do your job. Open the gate. Don't worry. When you get to the gate, they will open it for you. I just want you to know something. I want you to know there is a man left here by the king. Stop seeing this palace as a conquered territory. You have not conquered here, and you will never conquer us. Good day, Mr. Claudio. My birthday is next week. Organize something. My princess, you're not used to celebrating your birthday. Your routine is to visit the old people around the village one by one. Oh, that was actually what I was thinking about. Once the Claudia came up with something else. So I want us to plan something. I mean, something from the palace. My princess, I think if Uncle Claudio wants to do something for you, let him do it. Why in the world would you say a thing like that? My princess, since Uncle Claudio has been coming to see you, he has never bought anything for you. So if he wants to celebrate your birthday for you, let him do it. Well, Uju, that is not my style. It has never been. He can go ahead and do whatever he wants to, but I want us to plan something from here. Our own plan, like an in-house plan. Like I said, something from the palace. So come up with something and keep me posted, okay? Okay, my princess. You may leave. Thank you, my princess. Hey, baby. Oh, oh, my God. You're welcome. What have you been doing all day? Nah, the question should be, where have you been all day, my angel? You look tired. Hmm? Baby, I'm not happy with you. Why is that? Why haven't you gone to see the princess? Oh. You know we still have all the plans to actualize. Do you want her to suspect you? Baby, calm down, okay? I've done that already. Huh. And I did that because her birthday is close and I have plans. Which is? Why don't you go in and freshen up and I'll tell you later. You're changing the topic. I hope I can trust you. Oh, come on. You can always trust me. Alright. I'll Just be Just go with freshen you. up, okay? Babe. And then you put on something sexy. Baby, I'm not in for that today. My love, honestly, I don't know how the princess manages to work. Oh. Yes, she's blind, but I don't know how she comes up with intelligent write-ups and proposals. I work with her so I know what I am saying. I mean, that girl is smart and intelligent. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, the Whoops. princess was very intelligent before she got blind. And her brothers in the UK sent her a special software that makes things easy for her. Hmm. She's blind, but her brain is not. I think I've heard of such software. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the plan? Hmm. <clears throat> we kidnap her. What? Yeah. No way! Yes way. But she doesn't come out of the palace. I will take her out on her bed. That would be a great opportunity to strike. My goodness! That is quite risky. Hmm. Aha! We can kidnap the both of you. Yes. Mm. To make it real. Yeah! What if she doesn't agree? Well, if she refuses, then we will shower her with so much love on her birthday. Hmm. 
that she will have no choice but to sign that proposal. This time, no third party. You're smart. You're smarter. <laughs> Let's see how it works. Oh. But you need to tell her your plans. You know, tell her your plans of taking her to somewhere exquisite. Somewhere romantic. That she wouldn't even imagine your plans, baby. I'll do that. Let's try to do that. Mm. To the new plan. To the new plan. Mm -mm -mm. Who is it? Greetings, my princess. How are you, Obeluzo? My princess, I am not fine. Why is that? I had a very disturbing dream last night. Here he goes again. My princess, please. Do not leave the premises of this palace anytime soon. <laughs> Obeluzo, sometimes you make me laugh. Where am I leaving to? My princess, it is not what I meant. I meant you shouldn't step out from this palace for whatsoever reason. See, my princess, as far as this palace is concerned, you can go anywhere within this palace. It is being protected by a very strong force that is capable of averting any act of evil. But once you step out from this palace, you are not safe. So, I beg you, do not leave the premises of this palace. Obeluzo. My princess. Before you came in, I was contemplating on chewing some ginger. Please be kind enough to go into the kitchen and get me some. Skin and wash them properly. I don't have time for your ministration this morning. It's too early. I will do as you've instructed, my princess. But, my princess, please, do not take what I just told you for granted. Just get me what I asked. Immediately. Obelus, is that you? Are you done already? Come on, my love. Can't you perceive my cologne? Obeluzu does not wear this, and I'm sure he doesn't even wear any expensive perfume. I'm here. You didn't return as promised. I'm sorry, my love. My schedule was quite tight yesterday. It's okay. It's fine. So, when is your next checkup? Oh. Tomorrow or day after, Dr. Benjamin will be here. Hmm. All right. My love, mm. why don't we go out and celebrate your birthday? Let me take you out. Let's have some fun. You've been inside for too long. I think it's good we take this opportunity and, you know, get out there and shake it off. What do you say? Go out with you? My princess, it is not what I meant. I meant you shouldn't step out from this palace for whatsoever reason. See, my princess, as far as this palace is concerned, you can go anywhere within this palace. It is being protected by a very strong force that is capable of averting any act of evil. But once you step out from this palace, you are not safe. So, I beg you, do not leave the premises of this palace. My love, you're not saying anything. Um, well, anything we need to do needs to be done in the palace. Why? 
I just wanted this to be just the two of us. No distractions, no third party. Hmm? I understand, but I already had a discussion with my maid. We decided to stick to the same old plan. And by the old plan, you mean visiting widows and motherless babies? That would be nice. Uh, but I won't be going with them because of my health condition. I have delegated the owner and the PG of the town union to do so. Well, if that's your decision, my love, I'm, I'm okay by it. Okay? Um, let's celebrate in the palace. I will invite some friends over. Oh! Let's make it fun. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Come here. I am glad the princess made that decision. I am so, so happy. You see, you know and the rest can go there. They can handle things for the princess. She must not appear there in person. What are you even saying? It's her birthday that is being celebrated. She has to be there. And wisely, she has decided not to go anywhere. This is great. This is a wonderful decision from the princess. And you know what? I am going to go into that room and choose the best of wine there just to celebrate this wonderful decision from the princess. <sighs> this is the first time this will be happening. Celebrating someone's birthday in our absence. Why are they doing a lot of confusing things in the palace lately? She declined and demanded that the celebration must be done in the palace. Ah, uh, I understand. It's because of her condition. I mean, she hasn't been out of the palace for a while. This has got nothing to do with Obeluzu. So let's not bring that useless palace guard into this discussion. I'm not even thinking about that fool. Babe, we have to activate plan B. Babe, at least just calm down. Yes, we need the money, but let's not kill ourselves while, while we're at it. Oh, I'm so tired. Aww. I'm so tired. <sighs> My love. My love. Calm down. Do you know what I want you to do? Hmm? I want you to go have your shower. And then I'll prepare something for you. Okay? Mm. Mm. I'll be right back. Mm. Not supposed to be sleeping. Why? Oh, because of the princess's birthday party last night. That reminds me. You were absent. Yes, I was. I was actually guarding the palace, you know. <clears throat> Everybody mustn't be in for celebration. Now you know what you mean by guarding the palace. And how are you doing this morning? Very fine. How is the princess? She's still sleeping. I heard you know one the PG did excellently well yesterday. Please let me know when the process is on. Okay. Oh. My love. 
Where are you? I am right here. Oh. I had to wait so that uh, you would take your time and come out. I actually told you to make me look very beautiful for you because... And you do. Thank you. You look most beautiful this way. Thank you so much for yesterday. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. Hmm? I can do anything for you, my love. <laughs> I wish I wish there's more I can do to make you happy. Mm, thank you so much still. You are most welcome, my <laughs> beautiful princess. <laughs> now, sit back, relax, and let me make you your favorite smoothie. <laughs> exactly what I need right now. Yes, darling. Yeah, just sit back. Smoothie coming your way. Oh, okay. Thank you. I Do you need you to help you? I know my way around, princess. Don't worry. Okay? Okay. I'm waiting. I'll be right back. This. Why did you allow that nonsense man to go into the kitchen to prepare what the princess will eat? Why? I don't get you. Do not pretend as if you don't know that that fool is in the kitchen preparing smoothie for the princess. Why are you like this? It's just his own romantic way of showing his love for the princess. You always doubt him. Why? Stop all this your nonsense lamentation and go into the kitchen and monitor whatever he does. Let me tell you, if anything happens to the princess, I mean anything. I will have your head! Now get this idea! I'm sorry, take it easy. You don't have to stand there. Go on and do other things. Sir, I have no work left. Let me just stand and learn from you. All right. Stand back and learn from the master. Is he done? Yes. And you are sure you monitored him all too? Yes, I did. He is so neat. He took his time to prepare everything well. 
and made sure it's healthy for the princess. I wonder why you are stressing yourself and stressing me too. Well, I don't have time to exchange words with you, but next time, make sure I don't have to remind you before you know what to do. Why is it like this? Nonsense. What are you doing inside that car? Do you have a license? Huh? Well, well, why are you raising the car? What, 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 what's the meaning of that? Who even gave you the keys? Uh, I mean, this is preposterous. What are you doing inside this car? This life is not just balanced. You will be doing everything in this world to respect some people. And some people will not just respect themselves. And by that, you're referring to me? Hmm? Go and see the princess. Don't make Obelozo your problem this morning. Please, I am not happy. Are you okay? Huh? Why do you always make extra effort to show me how stupid and senseless you are? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. let me understand something. Don't you take a day off, or you like to be a fool every day? Huh? Did you come here to fight me? You came here to see the princess. Why don't you go in there and see her and just leave me alone? Haven't you noticed I'm not a fan of your pretty, deceitful, light complexion face? You're insane. You heard me? You're mad. And Monday. Someone will cure that madness for you. And that one that will cure the madness is the jobless one who has nothing to do. Did you just call me jobless? Huh? Hmm? I will change my mind the day you get busy with something rather than coming here waiting on the princess. Are you a waiter? Do not make me your business because you don't know me. She's fine. But um, from the test carried out, she has um, a little bit of typhoid fever. But there's nothing to worry about. Oh. I, uh, she got me scared. We were so worried. No, don't be scared, you know. She needs to rest. Okay. From the uh, test carried out also, yes. I discovered um, stress yes. is part of her problem. But she'll be fine. Thank you, doctor. Please, You're welcome. doctor, please. Give her all the necessary treatment she deserves. She means the world to me. She means so much to all of us. Please. Mm. Please, doctor, please. I understand how you feel, but that's my job. That's exactly what I'll do. You don't have to worry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said before now, she'll be fine. Oh, she'll, she'll be fine. All right, doctor. Okay, I'll take my leave. Now. All right, doctor. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, well. Um, Please, how is she feeling? Well, she's fine, but she needs to rest. But um, I have a call for an emergency. I've told you what to do, and um, a nurse is already on her way to this place. Doctor, I hope this sickness will not hold her down for too long. She'll be fine. You have to keep an eye on her equally. If you need assistance, the nurse is there. Or you can call me directly. 
I know exactly what to do, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Let me run a little. My love, you look so weak. Um, should we take you to a specialist hospital? Uh, what would you like to eat? Anything, just say it. I'll get it. Don't worry, I'll be fine. My only problem is I don't like taking drugs, but Dr. Benjamin knows how to go about it. My love. And that's why I'm very comfortable with him. You just have to try, okay? As soon as you get better, you don't have to take the drugs again. Please. Hey, Obeluso, what about you call yourself? How do you walk into a, a, a lady's room like this? Get out! What? My princess. I wish you quick recovery. You will be fine. Um, hello? Excuse me? Like I said, get out. You're my, not welcome here. My princess, I just spoke with Dr. Benjamin and he assured me you'll be very, very fine. He even said he nurses on the way as we speak right now. So everything will be fine, my princess. Are you deaf? I said, get out of here! How can you walk into a lady's room without proper courtesy and you're here holding her hands and... Um, excuse me, hello, hello, please can you get out? I was already taking care of her before you walked in here. Uh, my princess, he has already started. My goodness. Oh, don't worry, I'm leaving already. Like I told you, a nurse is on the way to take care of you, everything will be fine. Get out. Princess. I don't know why you keep tolerating this guy. Imagine how he walked into your room without proper courtesy. You even gave him the permission to be walking in and out of your room. This is preposterous. Can you just let be? I'm just trying to protect you. Like, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Why is he walking in here? Interrupting me. I'm sorry. Like I said, the nurse is almost here. And that's good news. You'll be fine. Okay? I was particularly worried when I heard that she took ill after her birthday. There is no cause for alarm or no. The doctor has assured us she will be fine. I can see that. She's well taken care of. Yes, yeah, she is. <clears throat> um, it's just typhoid fever and she has been placed on the necessary medications. Yes, I must say that I'm quite relieved now. I was worried earlier. You know, I don't want anything to happen to our princess. She is a great asset not just to the royal family, but to the entire kingdom at large. I understand, though, no, nothing will happen to the princess, I assure you. Good. Thank you very much for your concern, though, no. Mm. Uh, um, keep up the good work. Mm? I'll take my leave. All right. One of thinks it's not a coincidence that I fell ill after my party. He, he thinks there is more to it. Something like what? 
something he would find out if I allow him consult a CR on my behalf. Oh, that's nice. Hope you gave him the approval. <laughs> Joe, are you serious? Approval? See us that you tell to check something for you and they start seeing other things. <laughs> no. I, I know this from, from the ones that worked for my father before he died. My princess, Uno is only doing his job. You would have allowed him to go ahead with his request. Unfortunately, I told him to forget about me. I'll be fine. Hmm? You may leave. Okay, my princess. And uh, uh, please, I, I need vegetables and fish tonight. And make it spicy, please. Okay, my princess. So have you been able to find out anything about the princess's boyfriend? Oh. He has been quiet lately, so I decided to leave him and monitor him from afar. From what I know, he hates you so much. <laughs> you don't need to tell me that. Uh, I know he, he has already killed me in his heart. But you know what? He is nothing. Sometimes I wonder what the princess saw in a man who is not ready to be useful to himself. Trust me, the princess knows he is a stooge. She knows he is very useless. That is why she has not allowed him to experience the woman in her. What are you trying to say? Exactly what you heard. You see, that stooge will stop coming to this palace once he sleeps with the princess. And the princess knows that already. That is why she has been following him with the highest level of diplomacy. I am so happy to hear this. You know, I've been thinking that he has been sleeping with the princess. <laughs> it is obvious you don't even know the princess. She is a woman though but she has the wisdom of kings.
There's something I've been meaning to discuss with you. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Uh, can I see that? Oh, of course. Have a seat. Uh, my princess, it's about your boyfriend, Uncle Claudio. What about him? Obeluzu hates him so much. He hates him to the extent he tells it to his face. I just need you to call Obeluzu to order. <laughs> Let him stop disrespecting the only man in your life. <laughs> Do you know what I would say? Leave them to solve whatever problem that exists between them. They are men. And they should do what men should do. I need a glass of water, please. Okay. Okay. And please don't stay too long. Okay. Do you know who is getting involved? To the extent of offering to assist the princess in metaphysical inquiries. And you seem not to be bothered. I don't understand. Am I supposed to prevent Onowu from relating with the princess? You know exactly what I am saying. Look, you need to look for a way to stop the Onowu from getting close to the princess. Wait a minute. When did Onowu become our problem? You're not getting it. The Onowu is not exactly our problem. But if he keeps getting close to the princess, he may unmask our plans. You know that man is a man of many sides. Why are you looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about? Not you, because I'm surprised. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, you knew nothing about Onu. <sighs> I told you about him and how highly the princess holds him. Listen, Why are you now sounding as if you're the one that gave me the information? This is not an argument or something. Why are you not bothered? <sighs> All right. Chill. I'll figure out something. You better. Okay. Yes. Bad girl. Why does it feel like you're also having problems with you know? He's getting too close to you. I don't remember telling you I was never close to him. The Onowu is carrying out the duties of the king until my brother returns from the UK. I don't like him, okay? He's too fetish. I'm just afraid he would lure you into those fetish ways and you start doing fetish things. Huh? Claudio, there's a difference between being fetish and being traditional. And we both know the Onowu is just being traditional. So let's just let him be. Why do I feel like you're defending him? I am not defending him. Of course that man can defend himself. Let the Onowu be. Moreover, he's like a father to me right now. And we are getting on well. Okay? I gather that some women were here to see the princess. Who sent them away? Who restricted them from seeing the princess? Um, is the princess boyfriend, Claudio. What? Claudio? Restricted them from seeing the princess? Who gave him such right? Who? Ah, take it easy, yo. Take it easy. But in all honesty, he's not supposed to send those women away. Away. Who gave you such right? Oh, I see. So it is you who have been allowing all sorts of people to 
come here and disturb the princess. There is nothing wrong with the women of Osaluna Kingdom to come to the palace to show appreciation to the princess for her kind gestures towards her people. If you have a different opinion, keep it in your house. Don't try this rubbish again. Nonsense. Not so fast. I'm not surprised you didn't see anything wrong with that. Hmm? You know, that the kettle called the port black is not the news. The news is that the port finally swallowed the kettle. Oh my God, you're, you're daft. Like, what sort of useless proverb is that? Huh? Do you need a letter? To know that the princess needs rest? It is not your job. It is not in your place to say when the princess needs rest or not. If the palace has a visitor, allow the people responsible for it to attend to them. It is not in your job description. Oh. I am not interested in your useless job. But the princess is my sole responsibility. I have every right to decide who she sees and who she doesn't see. You, you, you disgust me. Really? You know, the more I listen to you, yes. the more my spirit rejects you. Oh, my spirit rejected you the moment you made my business yours. Now get lost, idiot! I know why I am still tolerating you. It is because of the princess there. And it's because of the same princess there that I've been taking all your nonsense. Get out. Fool. I don't even need to ask what is going on because from your countenance, you clearly don't look happy. You're not yourself. Hmm? I am not happy. Clearly. It may seem as though we're just wasting our time. Where is that coming from? Baby, the princess is controlling billions of Naira. I mean, you need to see the... <sighs> The amount of money flowing in and out of that company's account every single week. You just realizing? How? Oh. Huh? Her father, through his network, set up that oil servicing company. The princess inherited everything. The whole assets and the near no liabilities. Plus massive goodwill. Woo! So she's richer than you imagine. Then whoa, why is she so stupid? Mm. I mean, why can't she give you a good, reasonable amount of money? Oh, are you not giving it to her in bed like you do to me? What? Mm -hmm. I am sorry to bust your bubbles, but I have not had canal knowledge of the princess ever. As a matter of fact, I don't even know the color of her underpants. Neither have I kissed her before. Not even a French kiss. No way. Yes I, way. I didn't just hear that. I'm telling you the truth. No. <laughs> I have tried everything possible and failed. It seems to me like she wants a proposal, a marriage, before she opens up to me completely. I can't believe what I'm just hearing. No. No, mm. you didn't just hear that. Mm. I mean, even as a blind princess, yes. she's still proving how to get that is Callista for you. You know, I was even thinking at a point, maybe I would just marry her and secure my future. Marry who? Then what becomes of me? Hey, hey, no way, no, no, no. We mm. are into this together. We are going to get married. We, the plan is, we will get this money and build our family together. That's the plan. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. That's baby. the plan, right? Oh, but think about it. It's just that kind of situation where somebody abroad is trying to get papers and you have to get married to get papers. Baby, but... no, don't, don't, don't All say right, that. All right, okay, okay, I hear you. 
I was just thinking. I didn't say I would do it. Don't even think about it. Come on. Come here. No, don't, don't leave me alone. I don't want to do that. No, Would you? My princess. Oh. My princess. You, you have the ring? ring? Okay. Yeah. Let me have one, please. Okay. Okay. You didn't cut it? Oh, no. Let, let me cut it. Okay. Open up. Let me cut it. Oh. Very good. Uh, uh, please, don't, don't leave. Uh, come and sit down. Please. Come and join me. Come. My princess. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm seated, my princess. I know you'll be wondering what this troublemaker has to say to you, right? My princess. Who sees you as a troublemaker? You are the best boss anyone could have. Whoever sees you as a troublemaker is a mischief maker. Would you? You're a very nice person. Very, very nice. I just pray that God gives you a man that will cherish you for the rest of your life. You've been very wonderful and kind to me. Thank you. My princess. Are you crying? No, no. Thank, thank you so much. You, you are the best boss I could ever have. It's just that I'm, I'm still believing God for a miracle in your sight. I don't blame God. Finally, I don't. I, I believe there are certain things he didn't want me to see. But I'm fine. That's a philosophical angle to that. My princess, I feel you are lucky. That's why God sent Uncle Claudio to you. He's so concerned about your well-being. Is that what you think of him? Yes. I, I, I feel you both are lucky to have each other. <laughs> you know, he has, he has been here all through. That's what a good man does. You think he's a good man? Yes, he is, my princess. Though Obeluzu thinks otherwise. Ah, oh, forget about Obeluzu. That's his opinion. It's nothing to me. Yes, I feel he has no right to have an opinion over someone's private affair. It's just that I've been warning him, but he refused to listen. Like I said. Forget about him. Okay? Thank you. you can join me. Hey, have, have some. Have, have some. Stop right there. Why are you blocking me? For how long do you think you can hide the truth? All days are for the thief. <laughs> and just one day is for the owner of the goods. Will you claim you've not heard of this before? Is this possibly why you called me? And now you are blocking me? I am not blocking you. I just want you to know that the legs that move fast are closely monitored by the eyes that move even faster. And who is the eyes and legs you're talking about? Now you listen to me. You have to be careful with me, else you will have a fallout with me. You still have the time to retrace your steps and be in the good book of this family. Mm. 
It will register in my spirit when you decide. If not, I will unmask you. Hmm. And if care is not taken, it is going to be very, very painful. You are a fool. Don't spit on me again. Rubbish. Nonsense. Princess, do you need any other thing? Uh, no, it's okay. I I'm fine for now. Okay. Um, sorry to ask. I haven't asked about your mother. How is she? I hope she's better now. Yes, my princess. She's fine now. Oh, that's good. Please just um, sit around, okay? In, in case I need you to do something else for me. Okay, my princess. Ujua, are you leaving? No. Uh, greetings, my princess. You sent for me. Oh, y yes, I did. Please um, sit down. Uju, yes, my princess. You may leave. Okay, my princess. Uh, my princess, I hope everything is fine. Um, have a seat. I want you to tell me a little story about the people of Oka Kingdom. Obeluzo, are you there? I am here, my princess. My princess, please. I don't understand. Why do you want to know about the great Oka Kingdom? Oh, well, nothing much. Just admiring your calm nature and the peaceful coexistence we've had with them for so many years. I, I know nothing about them, or just a little. I, I was wondering if you could tell me anything. Maybe about their history or something about them. My princess, from the way you are sounding and from all you've said now, it is very obvious, you know, lots of lots about them more than I do. The truth is that I don't know anything about Oka Kingdom. I don't at all. Really? Yes, my princess. Mm. Well, I am surprised that you of all people know nothing about them. Okay, I, I will just ask somebody else. But in case you find out anything, just let me know. All right, my princess. I'm surprised you didn't say anything to her. It should be bothered about. It shouldn't be talking about me. It should be talking about your disrespect. The princess ordered you to leave, but you chose to stay to eavesdrop on the princess of Ozalona. Please don't get this twisted. She's my princess, and she knows that I always eavesdrop on her. If you do that, don't try that rubbish with me. Don't try it. But why didn't you say anything to her? I thought you know everything. How come you don't know anything about the people of Oka? I don't even understand. Why is the princess suddenly making inquiries about Oka Kingdom? They have no business with us alone. 
You should be asking the princess that question, not me. Why are you asking me? Because it's possible she must have discussed that with you before inviting me over. <laughs> she didn't discuss anything to me. I don't even know anything about it. Becoming too busy these days. Hmm. Always on the computer, papers everywhere. Courtesy sure of that office. useless manager. Hmm. I mean, ah, he doesn't give me breathing space. I have practically turned to his personal assistant for real. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. Hmm? Hmm. Very soon you wouldn't have to complain. Hope so. Hmm? How's the princess? You mean the stingy princess? Hmm. Well, she's sitting there on top of her father's wealth and he's not trying to help anybody. Babes, mm -hmm. thank God we convinced her to give me this job. Because I wonder how we would have been surviving. We are dead broke, like broke broke. Don't worry, baby. Very soon, we'll get back on our feet. huh? And we'll be standing taller this time. I hope so. I really hope so. Look. I have another plan. Something tells me that we're getting closer and closer to the money. It's me. What's the plan? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Beluzo, please, please, you will not kill me with laughter. This is a very interesting story and funny too. I am, I am really happy. I am happy. You are happy, my oh. princess. Oh. I know seeing you smile, laugh, gives me greater joy. Oh. <laughs> You're a man of many sights indeed. I never knew you were this funny. <laughs> I beg to take my leave, my princess. It's okay, G. <laughs> well, my princess, what I say uh, is, a, is, a, is a true life story, what I just narrated. I don't think it was really meant to make everyone laugh. <laughs> but it actually made me laugh. <laughs> yes, it might be a true life story, but it was funny and interesting. Hi, love. <laughs> oh, baby. Yes. You're welcome. I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, my princess, I think this will be a right time for me to take my leave. Oh, it's okay, Obelius. You can go. I'll call you if I need you to do anything for me. It's okay, my princess. <laughs> I am always... Uh, you said you were leaving already. Leave. It's, it's, it's okay. My princess, remember, any time, any day, I'm always at your service. It's Take care right. of yourself, the beautiful one of us alone of kingdom. Oh, Beluzu. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> my love. Oh, what is going on? You look so happy and feeling so excited. Oh, it's Obeluzu. Oh. He was entertaining us with some interesting stories. Beautiful and funny. Mm. <laughs> I never knew he was that funny. Oh, I see. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Um, when did you become close to him? Where is that coming from? You know I'm close to all my workers. I forgot. Don't mind me. <laughs> so, it's obvious you're happy? Very happy. Did, do you want me to tell you the story he told? Um, no, no. Um, well, I would love to continue to make you happier. So what can I do? You needed to have seen his face. That guy, let me tell you, is sick. Physically, mentally, psychologically, and economically. I'm beginning to believe what you've been saying. That guy is too pompous. Huh? See, Udu, let me even tell you something you don't know. You see that guy? You are richer than him. How do you mean? <laughs> see, with your salary in this palace, you are richer than that fool that hangs his hand roaming around the palace just because the princess calls him baby. What exactly is your problem? That the princess calls him baby. 
Um, Sim, please, I don't really want to make him very important by standing here discussing him. Can you make me something to eat? Baby. Yes. I'm really not happy. I, I mean, are, are we relenting on our plan or what? What? Are we hmm. relenting on our efforts or what? You told me you had a plan. I mean, it's, it's, it's a month now and nothing. Come on, baby. It's not as easy as you think. Okay? I've not given up on our plan. As a matter of fact, I've been on it ever since. Hmm. But consistently, I have failed. So I really need to be careful with this new plan. Babe, hmm? I don't know if you know what's going on, but we are gradually going low on cash. We don't have money. Whatever we have to do, we have to do it really, really fast. If the princess is proven headstrong, then we have to use force. Let's what? use force, yeah. Force? Uh-huh. You don't know what you're talking about. Baby, it is risky, a very high risk, to use an instrument of force on a ray of blood. They are guided by a very strong and special spirit. That is why we really need to be careful this time. Please. Baby. Okay? Just calm down. Please. Baby, I don't know much about your royal bullshit, okay? Uh, but what I do know is that we are going low on cash. Like, we are broke, broke. And in this country, everything needs money. You use money for everything. Don't, don't you get it? Come on, baby. I get it. I get it. And if we're not careful, we will go from being broke to dead. I'm not going there with you. Then you better stick to my plan. I better work. We need to be careful. So at that point, he almost wanted to Cla stop. Claudio. What? Please stop. Why? I, I don't like the story. It's not interesting. I, I don't like it. You don't like my story? Uh, but you, you were enjoying that of the guard. Come on, Claudio. You don't need this unnecessary comparison. Moreover, the story of Beluzu do tell me is is interesting. I mean, he's actually funny. Not, not this. I, I, I don't like this one. It's all right. I understand your point. I'm not even a good storyteller anyways. I know. And that is why I started wondering why you suddenly have an interest in telling stories. I'm doing it to win you. What else do you want to hear? Claudio, why are you not saying anything? My love, what do you want me to say? My little effort at storytelling just to make my woman happy has gone unappreciated. It's better I just keep quiet. Listen, I would prefer you be the Claudio I have always known. Stop trying to be someone else, okay? Where is coming from? Tell them to go to Zoo Estate and inquire about me. I don't take shit from anybody. You know, no? Well, I will call you back shortly. Yes? 
you of all people should know we don't condone such rubbish around here. Do not desecrate the sanctity of this palace and the fodder. Take that rubbish somewhere else. Are you talking to me? I am talking to an irresponsible man who is polluting the good air of this palace. You should stop this rubbish right now. By the time I go in there and come out and you are still doing this rubbish, you will see what will happen to you. Hey, stop that. You fool. What are you planning to achieve? Mr. Claudio, you can keep calling me a fool, but you and I know who the real fool is. Do not force me to downgrade this rubbish. What's wrong with this damn light? What is this unpleasant smell I perceive? Where is it coming from? Uh, my princess, it's it's from from. Hey, babe. Uh, Claudia, welcome, yeah. sir. Thank you. Where have you been? Oh. Would you? You can go. Thank you, my princess. I've been in the palace, actually outside, taking a walk around, making some business calls. Oh. Are you okay? Do you perceive this unpleasant smell? What smell? I, I don't know, like, like someone is smoking. Yes. Smoking? Um, I don't think so. Um, uh, maybe it's a fume from the generator. No. It's not a generator kind of smell. I know what I'm saying. It's like... Someone, someone is smoking, actually smoking in the palace. Uh, maybe, maybe it's a smell that filtered from somewhere. You know? As it is no longer smelling, why don't you forget it? My wife? Baby? Forget about it. I can't perceive any cigarette around here. Sister, you are really enjoying. No wonder you hardly called me to see my man die. You talk too much, eh? I wonder why you chose to come here today and disturb me. Ha! Are you not happy seeing me? I know you missed me. Even though you are pretending not to. Especially my children. I am happy you acknowledge the fact that you are troublesome. But wait, oh, why did you have to leave only mama? Eh? What if she wants to send you on an errand? <laughs> she can take care of herself. Besides, she's much better now. Mm. Mm. Um, how is our billionaire princess? I hope you'll take me to her before I leave. Is that why you came here? Oh, I see. Well. The princess is fine. And she's a very busy woman, so she can't see you. All right, then. Yeah. Hope you'll help me wash before you leave. Eh? At times, I don't understand you. You don't want to see me. But each time I show my face, you want me to help you in doing everything. Eh, you know that after doing it, I'm still going to give you something. You know now. Eh? Are you serious? Eh? I'll give you something. So you're going to help me wash. Mm. So, we fast with the dishes so you can wash. That's not a problem. I'm almost done. Mm -hmm. okay. When you say you give me something, I'll give you something. I said, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to
Ni bara koro kona de. Ni nafa ne buise bara chero vana nya. O kana kata kebu na nyu. You asked to see me. I hope I'm safe. My princess, you have a message from the gods. What is this message? My princess, oh, when this is the Nasele, where they can see give us the Nasele. The gods say I should tell you for you to do what is right. It is time for you to unveil what is hidden. It will say. We go to Moyi. He now your man and you to know D. Is that the reason I've been having those dreams lately? I do not know of your dreams. Manasi ne me ngwa ngwa. E me alo dachi. You do not have much time, my princess. How did you know I was hiding with you? I am. The priest of Ozalona. Everything is open in my presence. Hmm. Hey! Objam Naru! Objam Naru! This is a very difficult one, yes. It's difficult. Greetings, the great Wokeki. Greetings, my precious. Greetings, Obi. Obelonzo, my good friend. I can enge. I can em mongu I greet you to work here. I actually saw your guard outside, so I was wondering. Uh, but um, I am going to leave both of you right now. I just came to uh, give the princess feedback on what she asked me to get. Um, but as it stands now, I, I will be back. It's all right, Obelonzo. I'll send for you later. Alright, my precious. Excuse me. Hey! Obiam Naru! Obiam Naru! Who's on? I'll go see my wife. Um, what's your name? Why is Nzenwoke Kibia in the palace? Hope there is no trouble because the eye of the gods does not go anywhere he does not sense something. Kivia okay, the great seer. You know the toad does not run in the afternoon in vain. There must be a reason you are in the palace. Judea! I do what the gods asked me to do. The gods sent me to the palace. And you weren't there when I came. I came to deliver a message to the princess. Eto se, bogo kuche ngoye. 
makana ndi otulu odi wonneku vlo ke kpeke mm very well then the great seer before i leave the time has come for you to do what is required of you eto se ogogu te nwo yi song are you singing? Something tells me you don't love me. You don't have feelings for me. And it saddens my heart. Um, my princess, I, yes, Juliet. I I beg to take my leave, my princess. Are you done yet? Not exactly, but the network is really bad, so I think there's a better reception outside. So I'll just go get the network. Oh, okay, Juliet. Okay, my friends. Thank you, dear. All right, ma'am. My princess. Yes. Why would you say that? Do you doubt my love for you? Yes. I mean, if, if you truly love me like you claim, why haven't you fixed the date for our wedding? Do you necessarily have to go down there before, before anything could be done? You're the one delaying our wedding. You refuse to sign the proposal I tendered before you. I mean, what kind of a man do you want me to be? The type that sits, folds his hands and lets you feed him? Is it? Why would you say a thing like that? I don't understand. What I'm saying is, if you had signed the proposal, I would have had enough capital to, to, to set up other businesses. I want to be a responsible man. I, I would have had enough money to, 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 to take care of you when we get married. To be able to pay bills. That's the kind of man I want to be. But right now, I cannot because I don't have money. And my fiance, who inherited a billion naira oil servicing company, has refused to do anything for me. Sincerely, my love, it saddens my heart too. It's okay, Claudio. I get your point. If it will make you happy, I'll sign the proposal. Are you serious? Yes, I will. The company will disburse the cash to you so you can start up immediately. And then we can plan our wedding afterwards. 
Thank you, my love. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And I want us to be happy. I am happy. <laughs> and I'm glad you're smiling now. <laughs> The thought of having to be your wife, it, it makes me happy. Thanks for choosing me. I'm the luckiest man on earth to be sitting beside you, holding your arms <laughs> and looking at your beautiful face. Thank you. I will love you for the rest of my life. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, I still can't believe we had this all this while and we never made use of it. <laughs> hey. mm. I, are you sure she can do this? Shh. The person that introduced me to her said she's the best at business. Mm. Let's be hopeful. Okay. That says what will do the magic. Smoke it in a place where she will perceive it. Her stone heart will melt. And you will see what will happen. I hope you can take it from here. How is it going to work? I don't even smoke and she knows it. Mm -hmm. Claudio, you're not supposed to smoke it where she will see you. Find a place in the palace and smoke it. This mare travels far. But, sorry, but this looks like the modern marijuana. They smoke now. Mm -hmm. And the smell travels far. Hmm. <laughs> not this one. This looks like smoke, but it is not. This is a melting sacramental that I lifted from the altar of peaceful reunion. Hmm. It works like magic. Yes. You can smoke it all day. People will perceive it, but it will not smell on the one that smoked it. Lady Gurugas of the Order of Peaceful Reunion, hmm. now I believe you. <laughs> um, I don't think we should get excited yet until she signs the papers. Well, I can't wait to get away from her stress. I mean, I'll be far gone before she knows it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but Lady Guru Garas is so sophisticated. Mm. You can say that again. Mm. She sealed it for us. Mm -hmm. And once the money is out, we are paying her a visit again. Hell no! We're, we're not going back there. We are not going back. Back there. I mean, did you see the way she was looking at you? No. I didn't notice. How? She was lusting after you. Uh, look, I don't want anybody to use word powers on my man. We're oh, not going back there and that's it. God dang. Drive. Okay, fine. Mm. Mm. It is amazing how we work hard these days. You shouldn't have a problem with working hard. We're expecting something good. And good things only come to those that work for it. Hmm? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Brilliante. Oh. Mm. Ooh, take it easy, <laughs> mama. You are loaded. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note. Yes. This is the file. Perfectly done. All right. I know you know what to do with it. I'll check it out on my way, okay? And um, she has already promised, so I don't have to keep convincing her, okay? I trust you. You know what I can do. I know. <laughs> Just make it happen. Ooh, it's gonna happen whether she likes it or not. Okay, baby. Mm -hmm. wow. Just watch me okay. walk away. Swag it on, babe. Ooh! Boy. Oh. I just love this man. He makes me go crazy.
you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And we're here. Now you can sit. Okay. Wow. Perfect. Oh. You came rather too early. Yes. That's because I brought you the papers. Oh. Yes, my love. Okay, I'll, I'll hand them over to you to convert it to an audio version for me. And then I'll get back to you. That's totally fine. Greetings, my beautiful princess. Oh, dear Juliet. How are you this morning? I I'm very well. And how are you doing? I'm doing very fine. Um, please, there's a file Claudia brought. Help me give them to Ju. Tell her to create an audio version for me. I'll be with her soon. Please hand it over to her. That's it. I have it here. Give it to Uju right away, ma'am. Thank you. Oh. My love. Yes, my love. I'm right here. I, I want you to advise me on something. What is that? I, I got a very disturbing call yesterday. Mm -hmm. That a girl child was raped on her way to the stream. Did you hear about it? Oh yes, I, I heard. Well, that was very bad. But I'm glad the rapist was caught. And uh, the area commander is a woman, so expect him to get the darkest part of the prison as punishment. Oh, well. Uh, but what do you need my advice on? Oh, I want to commission a drilling company. I want them to drill more 10 boreholes in Ozaluno. You know, I just I have this feeling that if that girl had the opportunity of getting water from the borehole, she wouldn't have gone to the stream alone. Ten boreholes? My love, that will cost tens of millions and millions. Who will bankroll it? The royal company, of course. The royal company? Yes. I won't pile up money in my account and let my people suffer. It doesn't make sense at all. You bitch. More reason I feel like killing you. You're concerned about the people. I'm not even thinking of me. Cla Claudio, you, you're not saying anything. Um, no, I'm, I'm just thinking for you. Oh, good. Yes. So, so what do you think? I was even thinking 10 is small. We should make it 15, right? What about two? We need to start on a minimal level. I mean, you, you can't just commission such amount of work for the company and we've not even seen what they've done. Let's start with two. If they do better, maybe you can increase it. Besides, you don't want to spend too much from the company's uh, coffers. This is just a charity project. Um, please, I want the workers to commence work immediately. I'm still devastated with the news that an innocent girl was raped because she went to fetch water in a lonely stream. I don't want that to happen ever again. Is that clear? I understand. And I would like to ask, what is the place of Claudio in the contract? Why would you ask that? I never mentioned Claudio. Because I got an SMS from him stating that he wants to be part of the contract for the borehole. Um, no. I did not approve that. I did not. This contract is very personal to me, hence I don't want any distractions. Let the professionals handle it alone. Did I make myself clear? Not yet, ma'am. Okay. I will let you know when the contract commences. Very well then. Please mobilize men to the sites. I want them to commence work everywhere simultaneously. Okay? Not to worry. To just be exactly as you want it. Very well then, you may leave. All right, thank you, my princess. Without mincing words, that lady is ruthless. And I hate her so much. I hate her. I hate every part of her. I hate every single calm thing down. that she does. I hate, I hate her existence. Can you calm down? I hate her. Okay, I heard you. But don't be ridiculous. How can you hate her now that she has agreed to sign the business? Come down. The 15 boreholes she has agreed to construct for the people will cost nothing less than 30 million. 30 million! 
that lady is willing to spend such an amount on charity, but she cannot give any dime to the one she regards to as her boyfriend. Can you imagine? <laughs> Does that make sense? Why are, you, why are you laughing? It's not funny. Sorry. Stop laughing. Okay, I'm sorry. Stop laughing. Okay. I'm good, I'm sorry. But please, can we concentrate on my money? And stop deluding yourself with this boyfriend thing. Yeah. What do you mean by that? My darling, you know exactly what I am saying. A lady who has not allowed you to have carnal knowledge of her after all these years cannot be referred to as your girlfriend. So let's concentrate on the money and let this boyfriend talk, okay? Leave it. I get the point, okay? But still, I will make her pay. My darling, I am not interested in you making her pay. I am focused on that moolah, like I am so concentrated on that money. My darling, once she signs the deal, you contact your agent, get him ready. We are taking the next available flight. And we are leaving this country where nothing works. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you talking as if you just watched an American movie. Oh, we are playing the part, baby. <laughs> I'm beginning to be concerned. Where, where, where? That you're real with me or not? Are you real with you, my darling? I am so real with you. You are my The time has come for you to do what is required of you. It will say... Well, how did I go wrong that this man would have to confuse me like this? Obelo to the palace keeper. I greet you. Oban, I greet you too. Is there a problem? So maybe I'll the head of the kingdom security. He's here to see the princess, and he actually said she invited him. Should I let him in? Hold on. Or maybe your is here. Yes, sir. I can't believe you are asking me this stupid question. I'm sorry. A man as elevated as Omebi Oluze is here I'm on sorry, the invitation sir. of the princess, I'm and you kept him outside. I'm sorry, sir. Are you not? I will let him in immediately. I'm sorry, sir. Or maybe you are Lucy in the palace on the invitation of the princess. It is becoming clearer. And you're sure this is a legitimate business that will not affect the image of my company, right? My love. Mm. Even if anyone else in this world does not trust me, you should trust me. Because you know I can lay down my life for you. You know it. Um, uh, Juliet. Yes, ma'am. You said you have gone through the documents and you think I should sign it? It will be for the good of the company, my princess. Okay. Uh, since you do think I should um, sign it, then I will. Oh, all right, ma'am. I'm coming. Thank you. My love. Yes, my princess. You're doing the right thing. Yes. This should be for the good of the company. Thank you. Yes, Here. Thank you. I bet you they can't stand what is coming to them. Obudu, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Why did you come with that? Ancient sword of security. That sword can kill once the tip touches anyone. A day away. Also, them ma, a guy and ganago. Ah, from now. My dear brother, mm -hmm. you speak as if you are not in this community. 
The information is that they are fraud stars. They try to dupe the princess, the daughter of our late king. Is in King King in a tree going your son of us alone or kingdom? They don't deserve your pity. Hmm. Now, the police will see reason to arrest maybe Oruzi if he uses that sword to kill any of them. Now I understand your fears. Omebi Oluze is an intelligent man. That is why he is the head of the kingdom security. I mean, he knows how to handle things like this. I know he will always know the cost. Here. Why is this one dressed like this? <laughs> so it has come to the point where you had to go and borrow a royal <laughs> outfit, huh? To impress me? <laughs> I'm not impressed. What is going on here? The reality is what is going on here. This transformation you see is to let you know that we know that you are a scam. Wait a minute. My princess, it, it appears to me like you're no longer blind. Yes. You can see me. Yes. Well, I was never blind, you. Jesus oh. Christ. Oh my goodness. What do you mean? Well, some things happen. To let us know that God indeed is the master of wisdom. <clears throat> I'm really sorry, my princess. His majesty didn't make it. And as tradition demands, I've concluded arrangements to move his remains to the palace immediately. It's okay, doctor. My father has really suffered. I just pray the good Lord accepts his soul. My father was indeed a great man. Accept my profound condolences. Our condolences, Doctor. Your mother and the family. Thanks for that um, complimentary remarks. Um, Doctor, I have a great favor to ask. Mm -hmm. And what do you want me to do? I want you to announce to the people that I was involved in a ghastly accident and that I lost my sight in the process and won't be able to see for the rest of my life forever. Why in the whole wide world would you want me to tell them such a lie? I need you to do this for me. It's very important. I need to prove something. Are you aware that what you are asking for is enough to make me lose my license as a practicing medical doctor? Not to worry, doctor. Nothing will go wrong. And if anything goes wrong, I promise to put you in a better position. Trust me. <laughs> Listen, doctor. I have perfected all plans to pull this through. I just need to convince my heart that he is what I think. If you listen to me, I want you to discontinue all forms of relationship with this guy. You don't need to go to the extreme to prove anything. Doctor, I am a princess. I don't want it to look like I used him and dumped him. I mean, if after this process he appears genuine, then everything will be fine again. I understand your point. And I want you to understand where I'm coming from too, as a medical doctor. Wow, what you're asking for is a Herculean task. It's near impossible. In fact, it's complicated. asking you to do this for free. I am ready to pay you. Any amount, just tell me. I will pay. 
Come on, princess. It's not all about money. We're talking about your personality. It's all about integrity. Yeah. I'm looking at how people will see you if we do that path. But then, if that will make you happy, if it's the only thing that will make you happy, very well then, I will do it for you, but not for money. I will do it pro bono, not for money. Yeah. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome, my princess. What? You staged all this? You were never blind. Never ever. Ever. Never ever. God damn. I'm asking you was the reason I did everything I did. Oh, Claudio, in your wildest imagination, you thought you were fooling me? Wake up, brother. You were actually fooling yourself. <clears throat> Claudio, you never loved me. You were after my family wealth. No! That's not true. Yeah. No, you, 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 you're wrong. No, please shut up for I knew exactly what you were doing. Claudia, you tried to defraud the family company, the royal company, severally. You're surprised? You thought I wouldn't find out? My princess, please. I can explain. There is a logical explanation for whatever that is happening. Oh, well, save your logical explanation for your unborn children. God damn. The file you're holding, I mean, the document is fake. What? Mm -hmm. Fake? Fake. You wouldn't have achieved anything even with my signature on it. We had everything investigated. All your business proposals, even this one. We know of your plans to criminally cripple the company. Uh, Claudio. Oh. You are a scam. <coughs> a big fool. With your bigger fool of a girlfriend, you brought in as my personal assistant. Princess, please, please. I know, I know that I might appear like the devil now, but if you give me a chance, I can explain. I can explain everything, please. 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 Well, Claudio. You don't need to explain anything to me. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> because it won't change anything. Mm. Mm. Well, people, on a lighter note, I would like to make an announcement of my engagement huh? with Obeluzu. <laughs> wow. This How? feels good. How? You do this to yourself. Oh. Why would you end up with, with, with this this fool? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. That was why you you you, you, you had to borrow the royal outfit <laughs> to look the part? Huh? That is preposterous! Huh? Don't be deceived, my princess. This is Well, I am not going to tell you anything. For you don't even know me. No, I know you. I know you. You've been in this palace a problem to me. A burden in my ass. Oh. Obeluzu here is the prince of Oka Kingdom. Huh? He is the first son of his royal majesty, Ezuzu of Oka. Oh, pick them up, sir. What? Prince? A prince? Prince. prince? Well, that is why I told you you don't even know me. I came purposely to serve the late king, just to get married to the beautiful princess of Ozalona Kingdom, as directed by the gods. So you see, my dear Claudio, you are the loser. There is no gain in lying. You don't have to deceive people to make money. 
Get these imbeciles out of my father's palace. Hand them over to the police. Please, no. let them face the law. My princess. My princess. Please, please, don't do this. Remember what we share. Remember our plans for the future. We're going to have beautiful kids. Beautiful kids and live a beautiful life. Please, please. Take these idiots out of my father's palace. Uh, oh. Mr. Claudio. Sir? You did not share anything with her. Remember I told you to retrace your steps, but you dismissed me as a fool. Your music is finally playing. Dance out your hearts, but make sure you dance to the acrobatic tune of the gods. Take oh, them my away. princess, we're really sorry. My princess. Now. Take them out. Yeah, Outside, I'm headed to the police. Oh, no, my no, princess. No, no. My princess, my please. Princess, this is not. It's not the force to use. It's not the force to use. Oh, no. Information that Crudo has been with Princess for all these years. He has not managed, has managed to sleep with her. That is because the princess knew his plan from day one. What's that, Emma? No. They will rot in jail. I can bet you on that. I am really happy to be alive to see this great day. The gods have led us right. It is remarkable that I came to talk to you about Obelozo and you are reporting the same Obelozo to me. It shows something that the spirits are working together. Oh no, I have no clue what you're talking about. But seriously, Obelozo is getting on my nerves. You know, I have the need to fire him, but, but then I remember that he was hired by my father and was trusted by him. And that trust is because of who he is. How, how do you mean? Who is he? My dear princess, if you had decided to fire him, you would not have succeeded. Why? He is just a mere palace servant. I can fire him when I decide to. The Obelozo you know is not who you think he is. He is a prince of the Great Oka Kingdom. Why do I have a feeling you're serious about what you're saying? My dear, I am very serious about it. You see, your father gave you out to him because he has proven himself as a man worthy of a princess. He has gifts. Gifts that you will need as a woman in charge of a great empire. You two belong to each other and nothing can change that. Is he aware of this? I mean, was this arrangement made by his father and my father? And why hasn't he said anything to me? Oh, he has. No. In so many ways. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He relates to me as his boss. He doesn't see me as a woman he is romantically attracted to. All that is for a purpose. To make you grow and to discover who he truly is. It will happen someday. And you will discover that your father in his great wisdom made the right choice for you. It's amazing how everything turned out. 
You are indeed a noble man. Severally, you have been put through the dead devil integrity test. But you excellently passed it all. I love you. And it will only get better. And I love you too, the beautiful princess of Osama Kingdom. I can only say, it is better. Thank <laughs> you.